WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of red out there. All the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the downside. Dow's down 67 points, a little less than two-tenths percent, a quarter percent for the S&P, or 13 points. Uh, Nasdaq's off 14. That's less than one-tenth percent. The Russell's struggling off one and a half percent. That's a 30-point move. Semi's down 49. That's one percent. Trend is off 294 points, nearly two percent move to the downside. Gold's off 15 bucks. Seven tenths percent there, a quarter percent for silver or six pennies. Light speed crude is up a buck forty nine. Natural gas is up three pennies to the 30 year treasury, down one and a half points, printed out one eighteen twenty five. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left-hand side. What do we know? Well, we know price is trading above the top of its daily profile. It's trading above its trend lines. It does not have a bearish reversal candle, at least yet, out there. If it did, it would generate a Rhodes momentum indicator top. If we take a look at the spot volatilics, it says, hey, be careful. You could see a further move lower as that spot volatilics is above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day printed out at 1420 spot volatilics. Whoops, I'm sorry. That was not correct. The 50-day is printed out at 1396. The spot printed out at 1429. The NQ still trade above the top of its daily profile, and it's still trading above a little cluster of trend line support out there. It needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's consolidating with inside its daily profile. It's making its way up to resistance. That resistance level is up at the 10290 area. If we get a close above that, could be suggesting a move back towards its February highs. If we take Take a look at Goldilocks. Got that TD9 count top. Price still trying to make its way back to its oscillator and change line. I don't have that print for you off the top of my head, but we'll certainly take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. If we take a look at silver, silver yesterday closed above the top of its daily profile. Second close above 2490 today generates a profile change in trend. What I'd really be watching is the swing point that is trading into, and that's a swing point from the trading session of December the 4th. As long as price can remain above 2503, it suggests a run for that high. By the way that high out there is up at the 2657 level light speed crude uh, trying to break above profile resistance trying to deal with all this uh, cluster of trend line uh, resistance out there right now it looks relatively bullish in the case of the natural gas contract it still has its buy the d point pattern but price remains below the bottom of its daily profile a little bit suspect in the case of the 30-year treasury looks like it wants to go target its lows from february 22nd that's anywhere between 11711 and 118 09. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, if you would. But if you're starting off your day, please have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care now.